What's going on dudes? I just had to troubleshoot a blower control board but I wasn't able to film myself in action because the resident was home so I decided to go over one here in the shop. Again this is a blower control board out of a Goodman air handler and since us maintenance guys we usually work on Goodmans because we all know that they build these things cheap and rent them for high so it's good to go over a Goodman blower control board. So the XFMR stands for transformer and this will be the 24 volts coming into the board from the transformer. So it comes out here, comes out of this terminal and into here. And the XFMR C, C stands for common. This comes out of the common on the transformer, it comes out and into here. So these two are the is the power coming in, the 24 volts coming into the board. And this R here, the second terminal, is the power coming out and feeding the field wires. It'll come out and go down and connect to your little red wire feeding the 24 volts to the field. Same with common on the Goodman. This is usually a blue wire. It comes out and feeds the common wire to the field wires. So in out. And this G here, it's usually going to be a green wire on the Goodmans. This is a 24 volt signal from your thermostat to a call for fan. That's that's pretty much all there is to that one and this will speed up any any kind of delays. And these up here are part terminals. This is where you'll put the uh, blower speeds that you that you're not using. So these don't go anywhere. They're just part terminals and this here is the common this terminal here as you can see it upside down COM this is the common this is where your blower speed wire will go and on our Goodman's out here it's a red this is for the the lower speed and there'll be a black wire parked here this is the higher speed so if you wanted to speed up your blower motor you can pull the red out put it on a part terminal pull the black and put it into the common and that will speed the blower motor up and this here, NO, for this terminal here, stands for normally open. This will be the power coming in, the 240 volts, high voltage. So when it calls, it closes the switch and feeds power to the common, and the fan comes on. And this NC here stands for normally closed. And this will be coming off a heat sequencer. It's, a, it's for a safe fail. It's a safety measure. So if the sequencer, you know, if the heat strips kick on, but the blower, the fan motor doesn't come on, this will cause it to, to come on just to keep from burning the apartment down. Yeah. All right, let's go over a hypothetical situation. Let's say a resident calls and says her air handler fan motor is not shutting off. And you know the thermostat's good. So you get your meter, set it to continuity so it beeps. Pull the wire out of the common. Pull the wire out of the normally open. And touch. And if it beeps, that means the switch is welded shut and you, you're going to need to replace the board. So if you touch normally closed and common, it'll beep. So if you touch this one and it beeps, you, you need to replace the board because it's welded shut and not turning off, Skid. All right, let's say you're not getting any low voltage anywhere, no low voltage. First thing I would do is set my meter to AC voltage and touch between 24 volt and common. And if you've got no 24 volts here, you got a bad transformer. You need to replace it. This is the high voltage. This is the 240 coming in off the lug. Touch here and here, you should have 240. This just transforms the power into 24 volts. You should have 24 volts coming out of here and into the board. So if you don't have 24 here, change out the transformer. Now if the switch gets stuck open and it won't close, then the fan won't come on at all. And I've also seen a guy, he pulled the common wire out and stuck it onto the lug of the power, the power lug for the air handler and the fan came on. And that's how he troubleshooted this being bad. 
Oh, and I forgot to mention up here there's usually a fuse. I don't have one in here. It'll be a 3 amp fuse or a 5 amp fuse. That's all that is up here. So, all right. I hope this helps out some new guys. Simple. Power coming in. Power coming out. That's it. All right. Thank you for watching The Dirty Maintenance Show. Creep so